Oh, we started with an arm. That's a good one. So, as you see right now, I have the OBS, the latest update, which is 29.1.3. So, why am I doing this? Why am I recording this? The last video we talked about NDI issue, right? That doesn't show up. We have to do private. And if you suddenly update it to the newest OBS, it wouldn't work. It would have some issues and stuff like that. And I kind of put the NDI on pause for a moment because I have, I've changed my setup a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I have like uh, the 4K 60S Plus Elgato capture card hooked up in my, I don't know if you can call it dual PC, but it's a dual PC laptop. It's like a PC laptop setup. And I still use OBS. You wonder why? On my gaming PC, I'm on my gaming PC right now. Why am I using OBS? Well, I saved myself, as you see here, a physical connection, you know, that can send back the alerts to the Elgato, to my headset. So I just added the extensions, the kick alerts, the twitch alerts, all that's good stuff. So I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more. But we need to talk about NDI, and guess what? NDI does work on the new OBS, but you will need to update the current plugin that you have. It's an easy, simple, you just go to the OBS, uh, github.com, like where the, all the OBS stuff is. Just make sure you look into this one. I'll be making sure the link will be in the description down below so you can have it quite easy. If you're on Windows, use the installer. Linux, Mac, the whole thing is here. You can download just I just installed it and and it's worked. But I did it on my uh gaming PC. Right now we're gonna go to the streaming PC and do it on the record when we're recording, so we can you can see that it works, and I'm not just saying it works. Display capture, man, easy. Oh, there you go. Now, as you can see here, I cannot use it. I double click, I double click, nothing. There's nowhere to be used, right? I cannot use the NDI source. So, what we're gonna do is, go there, and get it. Just like that. Oh, and my internet today is fascinating. So you hit the go to the download page. You don't want to use the links I already put in the description. You want to Google it out yourself. It's also easy. Just hit the go download. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to install the Windows installer. I may have to stop the recording to close uh to close to close the OBS to do it. I might I might have to do that. I don't know. We'll see.
All right, done. Just going to install it. All right. Yeah, I might have to close it and reopen it. Just, I'll immediately start recording when I uh, open it. All right, as I promised, I immediately started recording. As you see, I have a multi uh, plugins thing that I need to update still. But, guess who's back? So India is back working, which is a pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good to have. Uh, that was the streaming PC. So I did this on both PCs, on PC and laptop, and it works. It works fine, no issues. But I stopped using it. Now, if I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it when I stream, maybe, or my, maybe when I'm recording on my console, my Xbox. Maybe. And still, it's a maybe. Because I can choose to stream from the same PC that I will probably be cloning the screen on it depends how you know i haven't touched the xbox for a while so i don't know uh if you guys want me to try do the thing uh, i can do that but i don't see any reason for it right now so that's for the ndi it's called obs ndi 4.11.0 so go ahead and use that if you download if you're using ndi to stream from a dual PC setup or PC laptop. It works perfect. It doesn't have problems. At least at the moment. Okay, I don't want to say something else. So that's for the NDI. I'll make sure that the links will be in the description down below. So you can easily just click. I'll put Windows link, Mac link, and Linux link. So you don't have to go search for it if you don't want to. This is for my own lazy people that I love. Okay, here you can go to the tech chat and tech help. And, you know, I'll try as soon as I see it. That's for the bot tricks. Now, I have an idea for the next video that I'm going to be. I'm going to be talking about GoXLR. I'm going to be talking about a dual PC setup, dual PC slash laptop setup. Okay, I don't want to dual PCs for dual PC, like PC, PC. I'll be talking about GoXLR, about Elgato, hooking it up with Elgato, or NDI, uh, Stream Decks, all the plugins and stuff that I actually use, especially about the GoXLR, because I, I really, really struggled at the beginning when I got it to get it done. And it took me like a, a couple of weeks because my setup is kind of kind of hard because it's a PC and a laptop. So, next video, we're going to be talking about dual PC setups, uh, especially about NDI or Elgato 4K 60S Plus, the one that I'm using. 4K 60S Plus, yeah gonna be talking a bunch about dual pc it's gonna be a long video next video so i appreciate you guys and thank you so much for watching if you like the video please leave a thumbs up subscribe for more information about tech stuff i don't usually do tech stuff because usually more game but the last video hit hit some nerve that I've seen I've seen myself struggle with these kind of stuff and if I have the knowledge to give you to help you to make it easier just take it to W okay and see you later